Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we successfully broke into Neon's Aurora trades. We now know how to make Aurora, where to get the ingredients for Aurora, and if need be, how to smuggle it past the guards in Neon. So, okay, this is brilliant. Unfortunately, yeah, Sam has been getting a tiny bit sniffy with me, as a result of the whole highly illegal drug trade thing. And that's why today we're back in Aquila City, taking care of a few bits of business I suspect Sam will appreciate. Number one, going to check in with the Rangers, we do have an update from Neon. And number two, yes, apparently Sam's dad lives in the upper nice bit of town. So, yes, we need to go and have a nice chat with him, though... I do get the feeling, yes, Sam and Jacob are not best friends. They're not going to get on well. So, okay, step one, let's turn in the information about Neon to the Freestyle Rangers. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Okay, it's brilliant. I cocking love it, though. That's true. Like... You're a ranger, it's freestyle space, you could go there today if you wanted to, surely? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Okay, I feel like yes, in many ways maybe the polite thing to do would be say, no it was terrible, you're not missing anything. But that would be lying to him. It was awesome, and the drugs are so amazing that my parents decided to come and visit purely for that purpose. Or at least, like, you know, that was blatantly why my mum was there. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? And indeed we did good, sir. So, yes, Price said you might be the person to speak to about cracking some encrypted code or something. Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Okay, so we'll leave that with him. He was saying, yeah, some more instances might be useful. So we may need to, yeah, gather another slate from somewhere. But in the meantime, Marshall, me and you need to have a chat. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Okay, we're making progress, but I won't lie, it has been a bit on the slow side. And uh, yes, indeed, Grace Early. We know who did it. We kind of like, you know, uh, let her go even though she admitted to it. So that's definitely like a pretty big crime. Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. And just indeed, I think I am. Though, okay, I'm not going to push for a promotion. I feel like, yes, this is not a guy who is impressed by Bluster or me getting ahead of myself. Like, when I deserve a promotion, I'll get it. Though, I just realised... We did see previously, yes, like, you know, uh, the Council of Governors are trying to get him to retire. This is a Bethesda game. A faction in a Bethesda game. Oh, I'm so sorry. By the end of this quest line, I'm going to have your job. I'm really sorry about that. What did you learn from the Starship Thief? Okay, once again, a work in progress, which is uh, Alex downstairs is looking to crack the code. Uh, but for the time being, uh, yeah. Just a couple of names. Honestly, I'm not going to, you know, pretend this is anything big. Because uh, we just don't have any information about these individuals. Someone called Mayor Cruz, uh, someone called Marco. Without a surname, that's even more cocking useless. Though, uh, maybe you've heard of Mayor Cruz. Good work. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Oh no, 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 fill me in. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. 
Okay, so she's a known commodity, though, uh, yeah, sounds like we won't be able to cut a deal with her. As for Marco, though... There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. Okay, bribes, corruption, etc, etc. He, I feel like, could potentially be more of a weak link. So, yes indeed, we did hear that yes, one of them was going for some long-term medical treatment. So... Where, in theory, would someone go for that, assuming, of course, they couldn't go to the UC? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Okay, now that sounds like a good starting point, and, uh, okay, much more of a vague follow-up. If Marco's in hiding, any way you could think of, we might be able to track him down. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first... Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. But I do remember reading a note on, yes, what's a faces terminal. She did consider joining Freestar at some point in case the Rangers could assist her, though in the end it went for private security in the form of ecliptic, so... Okay, there might be a lot more red mile than I was anticipating. Okay, another eight grand. Very, very nice indeed. Giant pile of XP as well. And thus begins, when well, I assume, more than one mission, right? Given, you know, we were just talking about multiple different opportunities. Red mile, there's number one. And surgical strike. This game has got some good pun names for its quests, I won't deny. Okay, so I know where the red mile is. That's not a problem. Deepala, however, I'm not sure I know the location of. Ah, there she is, right in Narian. Okay, I must have walked straight past this previously without realising it was important. Still, no need to rush to that just yet, because yes indeed. Until we've completed the empty nest, Sam is going to refuse to leave my side. So, okay Sam, let's go and have a nice chat with your dads. Oh, and I will say you're right. So, I'm um, at the old co-mansion is right next to the rock, right at the top of the town. So, okay, it's a pretty bloody big fancy house, gotcha. Well, well, Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh, and what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Okay, so... Oh! My flippy goodness, that mechanic that was introduced way back on Mars like 20 parts ago. It's finally shown up again. So, yes. Rather than saying something, I can allow Sam to interject on my behalf. The question is, yes, given Sam and Jacob don't like each other, is this actually a good idea? So, okay. Not about you or your ancestry, no, no, no. It's clear this guy considers that above all, so he's not going to respond well to that. But I tell you what, Sam does have a decent point here. Like, he's a co, he's your son, he's part of the family as well. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. 
Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Okay, Sam. Me and you need to have a nice chat, specifically about what exactly happened between you and your dad. Okay, now, uh, I don't really want to open with this, Sam, but I'm good at sneaking, and I'm not terrible at cracking open locks. Like, we could just steal the maps, though. Ooh. Do not bring Cora into this. Like, if you bring up stuff that might make life difficult for Cora, no, 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 he doesn't like that. So, uh, maybe I could try... Oh, this is not going to end well. This is going to be a really difficult speech, and I am not set up for it. You're flying in the face of my 30-plus years' experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Okay, so ask Cora for help, talk to Jacob, or talk to Sam and have him distract him. Okay, then before we do that, hang about here. Hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about. What mug is that at the back? There's... Oh, that's the Iron Team mug. I've seen that one before. Dear, oh, flipping dear, though. Have I seen it? In blue. I'm not sure if I have you know so okay just 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 get up to get up to here help myself to all of the there we go just in case that's no okay step one me and you jacob let's at least you know get your take on what's going on here what is it this time constellation okay so distraction no let's try persuasion though before we do that let's get the proper context I'm guessing you don't like Constellation because uh, they really do feel like they're very close to the UC. You mean besides the fact that you're some independent group that doesn't know where your loyalties lie? Or are you referring to the fact that my granddaughter lives in your clubhouse rather than in her family home? Okay, not the UC connection at all. Just he wants his family to be here. He's an old school freestyle loyalist. So, uh, okay. Let's at least try and persuade. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. So, okay, we've got... Oh, blimey. This is not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So, look, we will be respectful. Like, our entire thing is being respectful about maps. And if I get this, instant win. I know all about your group's reputation. It's not what concerns me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if it'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. Okay, that was a much easier speech challenge than I was expecting, given the bank was so difficult I couldn't flipping do it. And here we go, maps which are, oh blimey, good value. But we're not gonna sell them, all right? We're gonna use them, then respectfully return them. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Okay, by any chance, yes. Is it an area with some really nasty, what are they called, Ashtar? The local monstrosities everyone seems to be scared of. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbag. Okay, not monsters, though we may have to fight some of them too. Instead, right, more raiders. Gotcha, though. That's true. If, like, you know, the Ashtar are so terrifying you had to build massive defenses around your city, how on earth are these guys alive? Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashton. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw Gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Oh dear, they may have found it first. Here we go by the Luxiovich Yam, barely a kilometer away from Aquila City. 
So, all right, down we go. Just be careful. Gravity's high here. So, uh, even slow falls can really cocking a hurt. Just motion out and about. Get out a shotgun. Apparently, yes. Beyond the walls, uh, life can be a bit nasty around here. All right, just a mosey on here, and there is something over there. I'm guessing, but any chance of those? Oh. Those don't look like, you know, uh, the things that are in the rock. They look more like, you know, angry bears, but... Alright. Keep on keeping on. If anything gets nasty, we can start doing some murdering. There is... Oh, blimey! I think possibly a level 5 Ashta. Just absolutely cocking annihilated an elk Krangen. Okay, let's just start. Bang! And then get away from you. You take you out. Okay, you are legendary anyway. So you just drop some weird, unique bits and pieces. Give them all a scan. It's like, you know, figure out what's what here. Okay. I suspect there's going to be a lot of Ashta running around causing trouble, potentially. Also, unlike your giant dinosaurs, the Mosgnath. He's kind of cool. I like him. All right. This is Shargang territory. And they're usually not willing to talk. Be ready. Alright. This may just be a straight up shootout. Got some grenades, etc, etc. But... Who precisely... Is or isn't, you know... Detecting me. Caution. Hey guys. Oh! Alright. Just put a nice... Grenade right down to that for them. Cherry vanilla. And lovely! That completely failed to get anybody. Okay. You can just go down, actually. I think they've got machine gun placements, actually. They've got... Is that a robot? Did I just imagine a robot? I may have just imagined a robot. Okay, this is... Oh, it was not an imaginary robot. That was a real robot. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Just get ourselves a something. What did I just get out, by the way? Oh, the Explorer's Big Bang. Yes, my new shotgun. I should be giving that a go. That sounds hilarious. So, okay, hang on. Oh, blimey, that just annihilated something. Okay, who else wants to die to my lovely new McJibble, though? Okay, they rely on... Oh, hang on. That was overkill. You're also level two. I'm so sorry about this. Just a pop out and... Okay, this thing's good. You're level 16. This feels like, you know, a more appropriate use of uh, this gun right over here. Just bloody gravity. Okay, just a little bit more and... Never mind, I'm sure this is all good to be fine. Back to the coachman. Hello over there. There's definitely someone right over here. This is not reloaded. I'm so, so sorry. You could just go down. Rapid reloading and... I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure I'm really feeling that rapid reload I took. Like, I feel a bit underwhelmed by the rapid reload. And you're definitely in there somewhere. Just blow up this. Well, that definitely killed somebody. Well done, number one. And excuse me. No mercy. Down you cocky go. Okay. Downstairs we go into, yes, this mine, cave, whatever. And also, I want to give my bridger a go. So, all right. I see a level six over there. You're also talking to... No, 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 no. Sam! We were trying to take them by surprise. Hello there, guys. Don't you mind me just coming in with my grenade launcher. Honestly, screw stealth. You know what? He's somewhere over there. Not anymore. He's not. Now he's dead. That's Sam. Don't shoot Sam. My only concern is that this has been a bit yes too easy. Just a walking in and whatnot. Sam did indicate this might be a trap, so, uh, alright. Grab it and... Sorry, I forgot how this works. It's been a while since we've done this. Just break up the deposit. Now we can grab the thing. Lovely. Grab that and... Uh, okay, just... Keep an eye on the mysterious patterns that are emerging. Because... Oh, hang on. When I touch the artifact, the camera zooms out. I think when you, like, you know, go to the magic space ring, it zooms in. And you don't see the patterns when you pick the thing up. So, okay, there may be significance to that. I'm not sure. Also, I suspect there's going to be, yes, like, 
many bigger problems waiting for us on the way out. Like, you know, a, a giant ambush. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. And this answers the question as to, uh, yes, how they were able to survive here. The thing keeps animals away, so... Uh, okay. By the looks of it, she's basically got the same idea as me. She's also got a grenade launcher. So, uh, we could persuade her, but I'm going to be honest. Screw you, I'm just having a grenade launcher. You're not getting my money, and you're not walking away. Basically, bye. Because as soon as this happens, then... No! Oh, yeah, that'll flip it, do. That'll flip it, do. Oh, you've made a catastrophic mistake, buddy. You have made a, a catastrophic mistake. Huge mistake all round, actually. Just get it to cover. There we go. Just reload. Uh, she's trying to grenade launch me. Keep on keeping on. Eventually, one of us will successfully grenade launch the other. It's going to be... Oh, hang on. There's there's someone up there. There's like a bodyguard. Uh, okay, this is uh, this is fine. Uh, just go over to something that's going to finish. Oh, blimey. She's definitely got that. Okay. I think she's going to struggle to use it in the air, though. So, oh, yeah. Just go over to a nice shotgun. Oh, blimey. No. 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 Okay, this is... This is fine. And down you go, you stupid. She also brought pet Ashta. Well, that's delightful. We need to optionally kill the Ashta. Honestly, why not while I'm passing by? Just go over to you and John. Don't use your stealth shotgun. It's a waste of ammo that's actually a bit on the uncommon side, though. Oh. They've shown up because the thing is not keeping them away anymore. Gotcha. So, okay, also, you're legendary. Just a fly, use the scenery. There's not much you can do. Also, John, there's clearly an explosive thing right there. Kind of missed the opportunity with that, but I'm sure it's all fine. Okay, officially, we should now be returning to the lodge. But no, 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 no. That's not what we're doing just this second. While we're right here in Aquila City, step one, let's get rid of all those lovely guns we just looted. And okay, the Ashta Tamer is just a standard bridger, but it also comes with a bit of fire damage. So, I mean, honestly, we may as well keep that one. Like, you know, a bit of extra fire damage doesn't cocking hurt. And then, yes, I did see round the corner on this side of town. Now, hang on, where were you, buddy? Here we go, Midtown Minerals. Now, if I wanted, you know, uh, some lovely resources to maybe do a bit of research or crafting, this feels like a good place for it, damn it. And I'll give up. She's got a good selection and also in good numbers. Though, in particular, hang on, what I needed was uh, a giant pile of titanium. You always need more cooking titanium. And uh, Iterbium. I'm going to say Iterbium. Like, I'm definitely sure I needed some of that too. Okay, all that in a hand. Back to the ship quickly. It's been a while since I've, yeah, checked it on my research progress. Here we go. Internal Mods 3. I need, yeah, more weapon engineering for that. However, yeah, Receiver Mods. Okay. Now that we might be able to do something fun with. So just to plug in some of this. Hope for a bit of overflow. No overflow, but titanium, bare minimum, plug that in, and there we go. We've got even more stuff showing up here, though. Right, receiver mods apparently are the elite of the elite. Now we need either special projects or, yeah, uh, weapon engineering for. I think we've done almost as much as we can do, aside from, yeah, taking grips and optics up to maximum. Oh, go on, why not? Give me some scopes or whatnot. Right, just so we've got the option to, yeah, pick up Andreja anytime we want to, uh, let's go dump the thing into the pile of things. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. 
As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Okay, so now we can if we want to dismiss Sam, but not just yet, actually. Oh, um, bloody hell, that's also got me, okay, 10 grand. But also, mysteriously, uh, an assassin's refined pistol. I know everyone's excited by well, that was cocky and weird. So more importantly, apparently, yes, that was the last mission that these guys gave me. Meaning now, it's Walter's time to shine. Though I really can't imagine you being, like, you know, on the front line or whatnot, buddy. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree, I it's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. I do enjoy how whenever there's a negotiation, I just put on my special negotiation jacket and then get drunk. But apparently that's good enough to impress Walter, so... Okay. Neon is awesome. I'm down for that. Next time we're passing by, we'll give it a look, sir. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. This is not gonna go well. Nothing ever goes well on Neon. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Okay, you can stay here for now, because we're not going to rush to this, and it would be a bit embarrassing just, you know, have you sitting on the ship for the next few months. So, uh, you just stay here, enjoy your nice study, I'll come back and grab you later. Instead, there is one hilarious thing I want to get to right now, which is, uh, a while back in the den, a disgruntled bartender told me to put up posters of Vivictus in New Atlantis. And I'm going to do that right now, because I'm pretty sure this guy is a war criminal. A war criminal, to be precise, who was executed at the end of the Colony War by the Freestar Collective for the war crimes that he committed against Sam's people. So, naturally, we're bringing Sam along too. And I suspect, basically, no one's going to be happy about me doing this. Just, you know, make sure there's no cops around before we do this. And there we flipping go. Vivictus, a true hero. No one's shooting me yet. That's a good sign. Let's just, you know, get him down and then basically start cooking running. Because I suspect the cops are not going to be happy about this. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, security are way more chill about me, you know, putting up posters about a war criminal than I was expecting. You get those posters up, people will notice, trust me. Here's the credits, as promised. The United Colonies thanks you. I'm going to be honest, you have massively overestimated how much people cared, like no one even noticed. Although, hang on. He just gave me a bit of money, now... By any flipping chance... Holy flip me, I've got over 125,000 credits. Today, today could be the day. Today could be the day I pay off my mortgage. Oh, here we go. I am going to be cocky debt free. Mister, I've completely forgot what your name was. Hollifeld, I have got a surprise for you. I have got 125,000 credits in my inventory right now. This mortgage was ridiculous, okay? It was apparently an indefinite interest-only loan where you just got to charge me rent on my own house that didn't reduce the capital repayment at all. There was no term on it whatsoever, but despite how badly you tried to screw me, all right, I saved up, I merged a lot of people, I sold their possessions for a fair whack of change, and now, at long last, I'm going to be cocky debt free. 
Everything is in order. Excellent. Let me be the first to congratulate you on owning your house fully. No more mortgage payments for you. I have to finalize the paperwork, but I wish you all the best. And just to be honest, I'm actually surprised he wasn't more shocked by me coming in to pay the debt. Like, you strongly get the feeling that in many ways this was just supposed to be like a scam where no one was ever going to be able to repay the amount. And uh, I was about to say we should celebrate by going for a drink with Sam, but um, slight issue with that. I'm now kind of broke. I mean, on the other hand, I'm currently like, you know, in a bank with a cash point outside. So hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just like, you know, don't don't look at me for just a second. I know there's like, you know, uh, little cash points around here. I've seen them. Here we go. We're hidden right now. A lovely. And this here, completely morally justifiable. Okay? These guys uh, were robbing me this entire time. Like, at this point, I feel like, you know, uh, a good uh, secondary life mission would be get my mortgage back. Like, I just handed these guys 125,000 credits. Like, if I just robbed the occasional cash point, that's almost a grand to go. And I have seen ships, just like, you know, uh, flying around. If I was to, you know, maybe board those ships, for example. I mean, some of them have got to have good money on them. They're literally bank ships. So, okay, I've paid back the mortgage. But now it's time for, shall we say, a very different kind of payback. And better and better, I think I've got a brand new magic power waiting for me. So here we go, we've got ourselves an Altair 4C and uh, Altair. I remember Altair. I got told about this yonks ago. Random merchant said, hey, don't go to Altair, it's cocky dangerous. But there was apparently an urgent distress call there, so... Uh, I mean, that's just literally a magic power in the system. Oh, go on, let's go there. This is not what I was planning to do today. But I felt like, you know, the best way to enjoy Starfield is just... Go with the flow. And I feel like, yes, today that flow is pointing me towards Altair. Right, in we come and... This is Research Outpost U309 to any and all Free Star Collective craft. We are under heavy fire. Hostile spacers are overrunning our position on Altair 2. I'm not sure how much longer our outpost can hold on. We don't have much time. Private Mahoney, out. Here we go, Altair 2. This is, yes, a research outpost by the looks of it down on, yeah, they're like Southern Pole. In the icy bit, which is apparently full of argon or whatnot. And I swear, I will get you, like, really, really soon. Just not quite this second. Handful of decent mining moons, nothing too exciting here, to be honest. So, okay. Step one, Altar 4C. Let's just nip down and see what we flipping got here. Okay, nothing too dramatic going on here. We get ourselves, yeah, say a lifeless snowy rock with extremely limited gravity. Gotcha. And there she is right in the distance, though. Oh, I do like it when there are just, you know, planets hanging in the sky. That's just delightful. Okay, in we go. And I must say I do like my new hat. So much better than the baseball cap. And... Uh, Okay, yep, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm the chosen one, etc, etc. More importantly, however, Frostbite. That's not as good a power, though. Oh, blimey, that was a fast level up. And hang about. Sense Star Stuff. Okay, is that like a detection spell? Is that what you're trying to say there in the fanciest way possible? So just do that. Holy shit, I ain't never getting used to okay, that. that's a detection spell. Okay, yeah. Now that, that's pretty bloody good. Okay, before we move on though, it's time. Rank 4, weapon engineering, meaning I'm also... Okay, I'm actually still some way away from special projects. Special projects are right at the top. But this here, this just opened up Internal Mods 3. And Internal is kind of where the absolute most sexy stuff lives. So, okay. Well, I can some of this, but I've got myself, you know, some power circuitry, etc, etc. Just need a little bit of overflow here. Got myself literally just the right amount of polymer. Nowhere near enough of that. Just enough iterbium. That's also just overflown to a few bits and pieces. Nowhere near enough europium either. Okay, need to buy europium and titanium at some point, but... Oh, bloody hell. I think, yeah... The Internal Mods 3 
I feel like that's the good stuff. Also, that just overflowed, which is nice. Okay, we'll get back to crafting down the line because, uh, yes, indeed. I suspect I may have just picked up a really, really bloody powerful new dragon shout. And uh, I think I know precisely where we're going to go and test it. Oh, you poor bastards. You are going to regret attacking Research Outpost U309. I do enjoy, by the way, how uh, whenever we go somewhere, specifically to attack it, we always land, like, you know, right next to it. So everyone definitely sees us coming. It's delightful. So, uh, okay, this is our destination. Let's see what we flipping got. Oh, and hello over there. We've literally barely stepped off the ship and straight away, okay, space the troublemakers and... This guy had a nice cup of tea on him. Like him already. Right, now what the cock am I walking into here? Because uh, it's definitely not just me fighting these guys. Let's just start moseying in this direction. Use the cover to our advantage. Uh, see if we can find a jump. You literally just said uh, you wanted to test your new power. Well, here's your new power. And you know what? That's pretty cocky good uh, for spotting the enemies. Like, you know, obviously, uh, yeah, even your basic scanner does actually need you to uh, have a line of sight and completely missed you. Sorry about that. Don't mind me. You guys appear to be trying to use swords. Like, bad idea in general, to my mind. Let's just uh, mose around over here and yeah, by the time it wears off, I'm basically ready to activate it again, which is just quite frankly delightful. Let's just uh, mosey on up to the top over here. Get into cover. Oh, now this. This I will flip and take, actually. That's quite cocky good. Seriously, though, this new power, I feel like I'm going to be keeping this one set a lot. This one's amazing. All right, hidden. And, oh. I see people. And to be precise, I see someone I'm supposed to be speaking to. Find Private Mahoney. Oh, I think you may have given me the message. Gotcha. There's some friendlies, but there's also some nasty people. That's fine. I can just keep this on all the time. Let's say by the time it wears off, we're ready for the next. So, uh, all right. How about we, you know, work under the assumption the people with guns are the bad people. So see you there. Activate you. Open door. And no! No! Oh, now this I could deal with. This is cocky great. And I'm suspecting that you are also going to be uh, spacers. Uh, there's definitely some, uh, yeah, like, you know, uh, scientists or something round over here. Down you guys go. No trouble. No trouble at all. Yes, you look nice and friendly. And also, I was about to say dead, but no. This only does alive things. They can't be dead. But also, I can't open this door. Not without the right computer. So, uh, right. Mosey on downstairs. Let's go find Private what's -a face Now, she's downstairs, but... Okay. Now I'm seeing... Yeah. Here, Tony. You've got guns. But it's still showing green. Suggesting... Oh. Okay, we need security cards before we go any further. Fine, let's go chat with Private what's -a face and figure out what's going on here that makes this place so special. Alright, got a couple more downstairs, but with my new power, I know precisely where you are. In fact, I could basically just take you out before you even know what's going on. And I can just keep this on, like, all the time. Oh yeah, you want to hide in the servers, do you? You want to hide in the cocking servers? Uh, let's see how well that works out for you when I can see through the cocking walls. I see you, buddy. I see you. That's Sam over there. That's Sam over there. So you're going to be right here at... Bang! Down you cocking go. Oh, this is a game changer. Okay, Private, don't you worry. I think I've flipping got this. Ugh. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. Sorry, when you say you were expecting free star militia, but this is like, you know, not as good. Gonna be honest, like two rangers have just shown up for you. You are a sight for sore eyes. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. We were days, hours maybe, from all being wiped out. When the Marines showed up, well, any port in a storm, right? 
I don't think the Council of Governors would share that view. Okay, Sam's got invisible. Good trek. I mean, honestly, I've got space magic. I see no reason why he shouldn't have some too. So, right, on this occasion, Marine's good. That's good, because I'm... Actually, I'm not a Marine. I'm a Vanguard. That's different, but whatever. Yes, like, you're Freestar, but this isn't Freestar space. So anyone's allowed to come and go, and they were kind enough to assist you. So, okay, this place, lovely, lovely environment. Everybody's being friends. Like it. No arguments here. So first things first. The makeshift infirmary isn't going to hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. When Torres triggered the lockdown, I was with Lazama and the doctor in security. But the lockdown cut us off. Last I knew, Torres was fighting in the complex. Somewhere. The Marines were guarding the back entrance. No idea what's up with them, but that intel's old. Sorry, that's all I got. Okay, various factions cut off from each other and maybe not all as chill with each other as yes, the Freestar person here is. So okay, step one, you want the infirmary taken care of and I'm pretty sure yes. These guys on the way, I've already killed them. So good, 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 good. Excellent start by me. Just scout ahead, make sure there's no more. And uh, nope, clear. Oh, I like my new power. Oh, hang on, I was about to say, never mind. I, I did just get uh, snuck up on. But like, only because I kind of thought you were a friendly over there. You know what? Screw you, you can have a grenade. And uh, did that kill you? Not even close. And down you go. Okay, move over to uh, this side. Uh, take out this one and move over to uh, here. We can now flank them pretty easily. But actually, you know what, John? This here is what explosives are for. Like, obviously. So just to wait for Sam to not be in this zone anymore. Round the corner and bang. And bang some more. And bang a bit more. And okay, you know what? Explosives. I could, you know, get used to grenade launchers. Grenade launchers seem kind of fun, actually. This is good fun stuff, all right? This is good. All right, folks, no worries. You are rescued. Corporal Lizama, UC Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. Okay, so, yes indeed, we've now got UC and Freestar, everyone just helping each other out, but I suspect there's something else going on here. Mahoney's a machine, she's wasted on this rock, and this, uh, what the heck are you guys doing here anyway? Doctor. Doctor. Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. Oh, flip me. It's a xenobology base. Okay, well, I'm glad I came to help now. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. All right, I may or may not be on a proper timer here, so... Yes, indeed, as I was suspecting, these people are not dead. They're just unconscious because they're showing up like this. Lovely. Seriously, I am loving this power, by the way. This is so good. Just so damn good, and it suits the shotgun play so much that you can just pop up and know precisely when you're going to be able to get that headshot. You know where they are, and getting the headshot with a shotgun, I mean, it's just mighty. It makes you so, so mighty, this is. This is the best power i found, like, and it's not even close. This is devastating. Oh, lads, don't you worry, I'm here, I've brought space magic, everything is fine. Like I said, someone's been taking out the spacers. Are they all gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Oh, much better. I've got cooking magic powers. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. 
Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. Okay, so some people are still holding a bit of a grudge about the colony war, some people not so much. Though, yes, was there a particular reason the UC came in to help? We were hours from being overrun, and then Myong and her marines landed. And they saved us. We were desperate, so we just welcomed them. Together, we've managed to hold the outpost. Why the captain came to our aid? Oh, you'd have to ask her. Okay, so you know what? We're going to help out this captain. It's all going to be fine, all right? We're going to make friends forever, patch up some wounds from the colony war. It's going to be great. Right, eyes open. It looks to me like everything is a calm for the time being. See no one else but... All right, now let's all be friendly. Uh-oh. Never mind, we just need to get some grenades over. I'm pretty sure I just tossed the grenades. Yes, like, you know, myself there. This is... Oh, this is... Maybe a bit of a, 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 John, this here, this is what you use explosives for. This is the one time when, you know what, bang, and then, seriously, just, just reload more often. Reload more often in general, John. This is, this is precisely why you should keep your guns reloaded. And, everybody okay, right? Pretty sure I just saved you guys. Job done. So glad you noticed your rats finally showed up. Could have used you before Dalton bought. Stand down, Private. What matters is they're here now. And who the hell do we have here? Another scientist? No. Truthfully, they would still be pinned down if it weren't for them. Well, I'll be. Okay, so the commanders are chill with each other. The soldiers on the ground, they are not so sure. They would probably be abandoning each other if they could. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? So, okay, we can impress one side by being a ranger, the other by being vanguard. Huh. More UC bailing the FC out. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The captain all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. I have no idea what ground pounders are. Does that mean like, you know, troops who are deployed on the ground? I assume so. I mean, I admit, going into this mission, I kind of assumed it was like, you know, a, a type of weapon, like they were in space, firing a weapon down onto the ground, and it was causing earthquakes, but possibly it just means soldiers. I may have completely misunderstood what I was walking into here. I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. Okay, no trouble, but like, you know, you guys try not to shoot each other while I'm gone. Also, I just noticed that Tama, yes, as hilarious as this thing is, I'm running out of ammo for it fast. So, okay, maybe stick with the shotgun for the most part. Oh, we are walking straight into trouble here. You know what? I've changed my mind. Actually, it is time for, uh, you know, more explosives and whatnot. So, bang, and then bang, and then bang, and then bang some more, and just activate my space powers. Uh, reload for a second, and... Uh, okay, you know what? Explosives may be my new favorite thing. I quite like explosives, actually. You are... Excuse me. You are supposed to be dead at this point, so... Getting a little bit low on the old uh, health there, John. Maybe go over to shotguns at this point. I think we should be okay. Go over to you and... Come back here, you. Where do you think you're going? Right, they just went down nice and easy, but I suspect while I've been away... Uh, yes, there's probably been trouble back at the main base. Oh dear, they're waiting for me outside. That's never a good sign. Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. Okay, 
So right now this is going smooth. I'm just really hoping, yeah, no one's going to turn each other before this is done. But okay, what's the next step? Straight to business. Good. The Spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Oh, now that I could cocky do. All right, I have got some excellent particle beams that can take care of this. Right, we got one over on Altair 1, or one over on Altair. Is that Altair 5? I think it's Altair 5. Right, this is going to be our... This is going to be good. Oh, you guys, you're going to regret this. All right, there we go. Just boost straight through here. Take you out. Space of Scarab 2. Get right on top of you. And if we can finish you off before you can recover or do anything to me, there's number one. Okay, there's actually... There's a fair few of them, actually. This is, this is a fair few of them. But let's just take out what we've got. Okay. So far, my shields are... Okay, my shields are now offline, which is a problem. I need to take out one so I can focus on where the other is. Let's just boost. Okay, we're strong enough to do this, but these guys are not nothing. Once we can get on top of you, though... Hang on, where are... Where, wait, where are they? Uh-oh, this is... Oh, they were... They were just looping around me. Okay, I've definitely got the superior weapons. Now we are here. Down, you flipping... Oh, they're way more maneuverable than me. Especially when I'm at full speed. Just keep it going. And in just a second. Okay. We're good. But this is right. A little bit tougher than I thought. Bare minimum. We got money. We got titanium. You always need titanium for crafting. And even better, they're dropping ship parts. So you know what? I will give myself a heal. That was a little bit nasty than I thought. Especially when I've got no reinforcements. Right. Group number two. As I suspected. Out of five. Let's cocky go. Just remember what we want to do is, yeah, pick one and then charge him straight away and take him out before the initial exchange is done. If we can, come on, buddy, come on, buddy, down you go. Anything that takes you out and then focus on this one. The other one appears to have naffed off somewhere. If you can, yeah, we should also be focusing, if at all possible, on being in targeting mode when they, oh, blimey, we are being knackered by something up the rear. Someone is right behind us. Okay, where's the other one? The other one's got a really good shot us, but we're just about out healing the damage it is doing. Where are you, buddy? Hang on. Oh, no, no, no. That was the wreckage. It was right here. But now we're right up the tailpipe, which is absolutely fine. So, okay. Target lock. And, yeah, just take out you. No need to dock. And there we go. Target control moving in the right direction, too. Lovely. Whatever you did up there has lit a fire under their asses. Get back. Pronto. We need Okay, I've just officially, yes, managed to uh, get their attention, but unfortunately, I think it's also kind of annoyed them. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? Bloody hell, Sam, now is not the time. I think possibly things have gone really, really, really cocky badly wrong. Well, we've been away. Hang the cock on. Okay, I suspect there's, um, there's a few of them now. Right, don't mind me, guys. Right. Don't mind me. Just explode all of... Okay, just in case you this thing does way less damage than I think it should do. So that's that's absolutely fine. There we go. That's you nice and dead. Activate space magic powers. Go! Completely missed. That was good. That was good right there. That's doing some good work and one. So sometimes this thing just does not seem to do the job. It's really, really good. Right up to the point where it doesn't work. So okay. Space magic. Pop out. And Always forget to reload my guns. Never cocking reload my guns. Right, get over to here. Down you go. Down you. He wasn't dead, was he? I suspect no, he wasn't dead. Okay, just take you out. There we go. Now you're nice and dead. Okay, go over to this old girl. Because she's got slugs, hasn't she? Slugs are good. Slugs will get the cocky job done. All right, everything's fine. Space magic. Down you go. And one in the head for you. Okay, that is... Oh, hang on. Um, I've got a bad feeling about you. Are you a good person or a bad person? I'm not 100% sure. Down you go. That was a legendary. I'll be helping myself too. Nothing too much. Just a furious axe. Kind of terrible, actually. Right. Finish everyone off step by step. I really hope no one's dead, by the way, because I didn't mean for you to die. That was a mistake, if so. Like, I was trying to make everyone be friends. And uh oh 
reinforcement might be about to rock in. Does anyone know where the Cogkin reinforcements are? Oh, I think I see the reinforcements piling out over there. So, okay. This is the time for explosives. So, just get into position. And if at all possible, yeah, use the cover. Bang! I'm going to be honest, I thought this fight like grenades would drop off. But by the looks of it, no, they're like little rocket propelled grenades. There should be a name for a weapon like that. I don't know what it is, though. Right, okay. Everything's uh, fine. No, no, no. You guys can just... I'm uh, hearing more ships, which is a concern also. Something's keeping you guys busy. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but that's fine. You guys are nice and dead at this point. Everybody forward. Let's just figure out who's closer versus who is not. Get over to here, and you are hiding behind a rock, weren't you? Yeah, explosive rounds. Sometimes they're just ever so slightly underwhelming. Right, back over to the Ash to tame up. Round two here. Get on top of the rock and bang. And bang again. And uh oh, I feel like I've walked into a bad situation here. This is... This was a mistake. I should not have jumped on top of this rock. That was... That was definitely the wrong thing to do. Right, Sam. Last wave. We're just going to clear out all these guys. But there is a lot in the way between me and them. I do not have a clear shot at them. They've definitely got like, you know, a flashy... Oh, they've got flashy guns that are setting me on fire by the looks of it. Okay, just... I feel like I've definitely made a mistake here. Right, you're down on the ground. Uh, you're at the back. So you should be nice and dead in a moment. Commander's a breach. Lovely. Uh, down you guys go. Uh, I think we're to the last handful. I just about to see you down there. And I think we're okay. In goes the new. Down you go. Okay. Scruffy, but... Did I just find a second legendary rescue axe? Well, now you're just mocking me, gamer. All right, lads, uh, I think the job is done. And if everyone's alive, then we've all learned a valuable lesson about not having Colony War Mark II. Because as I've said before, that would lead me in a really awkward position, given I've kind of sworn allegiance to both sides. So many people. That's the price of command, Taurus. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Okay, so everyone survived and we all learned a valuable lesson about friendship and cooperation. Oh, I can even say that too! Huh. Well, just don't go saying that too loudly. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestyle and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. Okay, so... Uh, yes, indeed. I'll take a handful of credits, though. Actually, John, you've paid off your mortgage. You don't need it anymore. Okay, I'm a new person today. No, no, no. Instead, I'll take the medal, as you say. All right, so that gets me a level up. And on top of that, hang on. I just got five grand and... Uh, okay, rapid fire rifle with an extended magazine. Maybe I'll give that to Sam, actually. He likes rifles, after all. Oh, and you know what? I'm not turning down shotgun four. Let's get that banked in. So now for the first time, my shotguns have got a bonus effect. They could stun. Oh, well, isn't that just sexy as anything? So, okay. I would say having a thoroughly tested out an amazing new dragon shout. How about we call it a part there? But next time, me and Sam are still traveling together because I'm getting straight on with some more freestyle business. We're going back to the Red Mile, we're tracking down a medical centre, and uh, yes indeed, I want to solve the mystery of the First Cavalry, and uh, maybe, just maybe, we can, you know, come up with a lovely peaceful resolution, where everyone agrees that cooperation and friendship is the key. Though, um, uh, I suspect maybe it's not going to be, you know, that easy for the First Cavalry. I suspect they may be a bit more annoyed about the whole situation. So, uh, okay, we'll crack on with some more range of business next time. Uh, hopefully, uh, you're looking forward uh, to that. But in the meantime... I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Starfields. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you mooing bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.